every morning with drive Been on the grind, know I had to survive We had to win Started from the dirt and the rubble I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble Hello and welcome into the Rookie Prospect Profile Series This is a Zilla Fantasy Elite production Thanks for tuning in everybody Today we are extremely excited to be looking at running back Jaleel McLaughlin Jaleel McLaughlin actually went undrafted in the 2023 NFL Draft and signed with the Denver Broncos. They come into the league out of Youngstown State. And looking at some of their physical traits, we can see that Jaleel McLaughlin comes in at 5'8", 187 pounds, giving us that BMI of 28.4. They did run a 40 time of 4.51, giving us a speed score of 90.4. So you might think to yourself, why are you super excited to be talking about Jaleel McLaughlin? He's 5'8", 187 pounds. He's probably not going to do very good in the NFL. Well, we're going to get into that. Not only is he small, the 4'5", isn't exactly blazing for NFL speed, but it is competent. Anyway, putting these physical traits, again, we'll, we'll get to that. Putting in these physical traits along with some of their college numbers into the RStudio model, we do get a prospect score in the RStudio model for Jaleel McLaughlin of 10.876, which does rank 233rd overall out of the 310 running backs in the RStudio models database. That percentile rank for him, 24.8%. Uh, shifting over to see who those closest comparables are to Jaleel McLaughlin's prospect score, we do see that the next five better than him, Andre Ellington, Jalen Warren, Matt Asiata, Rodney Smith, Antonio Andrews. The next five worst, LeGarrette Blunt, Chris Ivory, Bryce Brown, George Atkinson, Kyron Williams. Again, varying levels of fantasy success in there. Uh, Matt Asiata, a pretty solid season. LeGarrette Blunt had a really good season with the Patriots. Uh, Chris Ivory was a starter in uh, fantasy leagues for at least one season. Remains to be seen what happens with Jalen Warren there, but uh, a lot of people saying that he's better than Mr. Najee Harris over there. So Jalen Warren, undrafted free agent himself, kind of an interesting comparison there for him in the R Studio model. So let's switch now to that machine learning model for Jaleel McLaughlin, and this is where I get a little bit more excited uh, to go over Jaleel McLaughlin and what he has to offer. And really, I was kind of surprised at the output here with Jaleel McLaughlin. So getting into his actual numbers, we can see that he comes in with a mean of 12.93 and a median of 12.89. And then the minimum rank, or excuse me, the minimum prediction, 6.77. Maximum range all the way up at 17.8. Looking at the percentile outcomes, 10.73. 11.79, 14.46, and 15.52 for the 10th, 25th, 75th, and 90th percentile outcomes, respectively. And then the M50 gap at 2.67. So, like I said, Jaleel McLaughlin, undrafted free agent. He's coming to us really, really high numbers. I thought that was strange. As we get into the ranks, you'll see that's top six for the mean, but... I was really shocked at this. Like, why is it saying he's going to be so good? Probably because looking at our database, anybody that's less than 196 pounds in our database, which is every running back in the last 10 seasons who's got at least 80 opportunities in that season, almost 40% of those that are 196 pounds or less actually reach 14 fantasy points per game at some point in their career. And I think that's why this particular model is actually producing such a good outcome for Jaleel McLaughlin. He is smaller, five foot eight, you know, in the 187 pound range there. That is really tiny, but we've seen historically, if these guys get 80 opportunities in a season, they really produce. Again, 40% of them are over 14 fantasy points per game at some point in their career. And just for context, that was exactly what Delvin Cook put up last year is 14 fantasy points per game. And he finished as the RB number 15 in terms of fantasy points per game last year. So, you know, 40% of these smaller running backs are hitting that number if they get 80 opportunities in a season, which is probably why these predictions or why the model is liking Jaleel McLaughlin so much is that he's a little bit smaller back. And because of 
know, his smaller stature, we do see a lot of success should they actually get 80 opportunities in a season. And if you look into Jaleel McLaughlin and his college production, I think he set the, the college record in terms of rushing yards in a career. So the guy is ultra productive. He's going into a situation where you have Javante Williams, who's, you know, a really good prospect, but he did have the double uh, knee ligament issue. It sounds like he's not recovering particularly great. No news has come out saying, hey, this guy's ahead of schedule. If he is, or if these guys are ahead of schedule, typically in a season, you're going to hear that throughout the offseason. Hey, you know, they're ahead of schedule. They're going to be here right when the season starts. We're not hearing anything from Javante Williams camp. So, you know, the, the general consensus is that it's probably not going as well as we had wished um, or as we would hope. And kind of with the timing of it all, you know, we're probably looking at like a week 10, week 12 range before he even comes back. And what is he going to look like those first few games that he's back? Probably not super great, but that's really opening the door for somebody like Jaleel McLaughlin to not only make the team, but potentially get some run there because Samaj P. Ryan is the only other running back um, of note there in that locker room. So should be kind of interesting. Uh, should he ball out in the offseason, we could see this guy maybe get those 80 opportunities and be super successful. With that being said, let's look at those historical comps for him. 12.93, 12.89, so right around the 13 range. Um, we're going to look at everybody between 12.8 and 13.3, which is going from the bottom at 12.8. Ronnie Hillman, Isaiah Crowell, Damian Williams, Damian Pierce last year, 12.8. And then Stephen Ridley, 12.83. Jeff Wilson, 12.94. TJ Yeldon, Rex Burkhead right at 13 exactly. Mikel LaShore, if you remember him, 13.08. Jeremy Hill, 13.2. Jamal Williams, 13.29. Ronald Jones, 13.31. And Ronnie Brown, 13.35. So that's really the range of people that it's saying Jaleel McLaughlin should have an average uh, fantasy point per game season if he reaches 80 opportunities in a season. It's going to look like one of those guys which is not bad. Like I said, it's really liking him in the model and it kind of explained why that was. So getting into that max range, almost 18, we're going to go from 17.4 all the way up to about 18.4. It's not a huge amount of people there, but it's all within one fantasy point of each other, essentially. Mark Ingram, 17.4. David Montgomery's best season, 17.65. Najee Harris, 17.69. James Robinson, 17.89. He was undrafted. Joe Mixon, 17.99. Leonard Fournette, 18.25. And Peyton Hillis out of Cleveland a while ago, the 250-pound bruiser, 18.43. So really, that's where Jaleel McLaughlin would fit in in terms of max output should he get those 80 opportunities. Um, while I don't necessarily see him hitting a ceiling outcome, I think some of those mean outcomes around 13 fantasy points per game Probably not out of the question, especially considering 40% of those smaller backs, when they get those opportunities, actually produce 14 fantasy points per game. We already know, hey, the model likes him a lot. Where are we getting in for those ranks? I kind of already previewed that his mean rank was number six. So switching over to that, we do see the mean rank at six, the median rank at six. His minimum rank is down at 12. Uh, he is undrafted, so that's probably dropping his minimum rank there. Then we saw his maximum rank actually number eight overall, which is pretty impressive for a smaller undrafted uh, running back there. But machine learning model says this is what you can expect based off of the profile. Getting into those percentile ranks, fifth, sixth, sixth, and seventh for Jaleel McLaughlin with the M50 gap range of 20. You know, considering he did have a pretty solid mean median here, but his M50 gap is pretty high there at 2.67. It is saying, especially if you look at the graph, that the, the numbers may be a little bit more spread out. Profile says he could be really good, but he's also small, and some of those guys do really poorly. So that range is kind of a little bit spread out over the you know total value there, which is why that M50 gap is a little bit larger, especially considering um, what is mean and median more. So hopefully... The RStudio model, you know, it didn't like Jaleel McLaughlin, but the machine learning model 
completely loved them. Um, hopefully these models can give you a little bit of additional knowledge, a little bit additional confidence to be making these decisions in your, you know, your dynasty rookie drafts or your yearly drafts and adding some additional knowledge to the analysis that you're doing for all of these incoming rookies. This is going to do it for today's rookie prospect profile on Jaleel McLaughlin. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the uh, machine learning model on this particular prospect. Uh, very interesting seeing how he came out. Again, this is presented by Zilla Fantasy Elite. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Every morning we drive Been on the grind, know I had to survive We had to win Started from the dirt and the rubble I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble